Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm Jen with SlingMods.com, and today we are thrilled to bring you an extensive overview on the foldable Stinger trailer for the Can-Am, Spider, and Riker models. Now, if you've been on the lookout for a solution to tow your Can-Am, Spider, or Riker, we've got you covered. We're happy to announce that we're now an authorized dealer for Stinger trailers and offer delivery anywhere in the contiguous US and Canada. Today, we'll be showcasing all of the standout features and benefits this trailer has to offer. We'll also be demonstrating how to unfold it for your first road trip and how to fold it back up when not in use. The highlight feature of the Stinger trailer is its innovative design, allowing it to seamlessly transform from a conventional towing configuration to an upright position. This allows the trailer to take up much less floor space when not in use. And its integrated caster wheel allows you to easily move the trailer around while it's in its folded position. When the trailer is folded and upright, it measures 59 inches tall by 89 inches wide with a depth of only 29 inches. When the trailer is unfolded, it measures 89 inches wide by 144 inches long. If you rotate the tongue 180 degrees, it shortens the total length to 117 inches. The trailer is constructed from steel and finished off with a durable black powder coated finish for a classy look and for protection against the elements. It comes with integrated fenders as well as adjustable wheel stops so that you can adjust the position of the front wheels to accommodate your particular trike. The axle features Sure Lube bearings for easy maintenance and this trailer here is showcasing the optional wheel and tire upgrade that really gives the trailer a premium look. You can also get a matching spare if you'd like. There are conveniently located tie down points throughout the trailer so that you can safely and effectively fasten both the front and the rear end of your bike when towing. The integrated tongue jack allows for easy maneuverability when unhitched and its adjustable height makes it a breeze when connecting or disconnecting from your tow vehicle. The trailer comes with integrated safety chains, a coupler that's compatible with a two inch hitch ball and a four way flat power connector for the trailer lights. The LED tail lights are backed with a rubber enclosure for weather resistance and feature side markers for enhanced side view visibility. The drop down tailgate has a license plate mount and rubber bump stops on each channel to prevent damage to the painted surface area when lowered. You can also get optional grip tape for each channel to provide traction when loading and unloading. Now that you're familiar with all the great benefits this trailer has to offer, allow our team to demonstrate how to unload it after delivery and unfold it. We'll also show you how to fold it back up to consolidate space when not in use. Your Stinger trailer will arrive on a skid or pallet and is secured in place with tie downs and shipping straps. Start by using a utility knife to carefully cut away the plastic wrap from around the trailer. Remove any accessory boxes that are taped to the trailer and put those aside for now. Remove the four screws that attach the caster wheel bar to the wooden pallet. These screws will not be reused and were for shipping purposes only. Cut and discard the white shipping straps from the trailer. If you opted for the optional spare tire, you'll need to cut the straps holding that in place as well so that you can remove it. Remove the vertical ratchet straps, securing the trailer to the pallet. Remove the two screws holding in the wooden support block so that you can remove it. Again, this was used for shipping purposes only. We'd recommend aligning some ramps with each tire location to simplify the roll-off process. 
rotate the trailer down towards the ground and carefully roll it off the pallet. We'd recommend a helping hand for the removal process. Open up the box with the caster wheel and hardware so that you can attach it to the caster bracket on the trailer. Insert a bolt through each hole and top it off with a nylock nut, finger tight to start. Then go back through and fasten down the hardware with a half inch wrench and a half inch socket with ratchet. Remove the ratchet straps holding together the channels on both the left and right side of the trailer. Insert wheel chocks to prevent the trailer from rolling when unfolding. Lift up on the coupler to unfold the trailer 90 degrees. We'd recommend putting a dolly in place at this point so that you can rest the front of the trailer on it while unfolding. Two people is recommended for this process, one on each side. Make sure that you do not put your fingers near these pinch points when unfolding. Remove the R-clip from the end of one of the available 13-inch pins and slide it out. Push down on the trailer channel and insert the pin you just removed through the hole located here. Then insert the R-clip into the hole at the end of the pin. This will lock the front and mid section together. Repeat this process for the channel on the other side. Next, grab another available pin and insert it through the hole in the channel at the center of the trailer nearest the wheel. Then insert the R-clip. This locks together the mid and rear section of the channel. Then repeat this process for the center hole location on the other side of the trailer. Next, remove the pin holding in the front wheel stop on both sides of the trailer and put those aside for now. Remove the two neck pins and rotate the tongue of the trailer 180 degrees so that it's facing forward. Then reinsert the neck pins and R clips. Grab one of the wheel stops and pins that you removed earlier and align it with any of the hole locations on the channel and insert the pin into place. Then remove the last available pin on that side and slide it through the second hole in the wheel stop to secure it in place. Then repeat this process for the wheel stop on the other side. Pull out on the spring loaded lever on the tongue jack so that you can rotate it around until the wheel is facing the ground and the lever locks into place. Then rotate the handle so that you can jack up the trailer and remove the dolly. Unclip and remove the pin going through your wheel caster bracket so that you can slide it towards the front of the trailer. Then reinstall and secure the pin. Remove any wooden shipping blocks from the tailgate if applicable. Then remove the pin at the rearmost section of the trailer on both the left and right side. Lift up the tailgate approximately 90 degrees and remove any foam padding. Insert the pin you just removed through the hole at the rear of the trailer, making sure that it goes through both the tailgate ramp and channel. Then install an R-clip and repeat on other side. This locks the tailgate into the raised position. Please note that there is a support bar across the back of the tailgate for structural integrity, so no pin is provided or needed for the center channel location. Insert wheel chocks to prevent the trailer from rolling during the folding process. Remove the R-clip and pin on both the left and right side tailgate channels so that you can carefully fold it forward. 
Then reinsert those pins through the available holes in each channel. Remove the R-clip and pin from the center hole location nearest the wheel. And repeat on other side. Set those two pins and R-clips aside for now. Remove the wheel stop pin closest to the front of the trailer so that you can fold it down towards the channel. Reinsert the pin through the exposed hole on the wheel stop. Then repeat this process for the other side. Slide the pins you set aside earlier from the center location through any of the empty holes underneath each wheel stop. Insert a dolly underneath the front end of the trailer and lower the tongue jack until the trailer frame is resting all of its weight onto the dolly. Pull out on the spring-loaded release lever and rotate it around until it's parallel with the ground, making sure that the lever locks back into place. Remove the two neck pins and rotate the tongue 180 degrees so that it's facing the rear of the trailer. You may need to lift up slightly as you rotate to ensure that you have adequate clearance from the wheel stop. Once in place, reinsert the neck pins and R clips. Remove the pin holding together the front and midsection of the trailer located here and insert it into any of the available holes under the wheel stop. Then repeat for the pin on the other side. You will need to apply pressure downward on the channel as you remove this last channel pin. You'll notice once all pins are removed that the front and mid section of the trailer form a triangular shape. Carefully grab the apex of that triangle on both sides of the trailer and lift up to allow the two pieces to fold together. Be very careful here not to pinch your fingers and allow the dolly to assist you during the folding process. Use the coupler to carefully lower the front and mid section of the trailer onto the bump stops of the rear tailgate section below. Use ratchet straps to fasten together the channel sections on both the left and right side of the trailer. Release the pin on the caster bar so that you can extend the wheel into position. Then reinstall and fasten the pin. Use two people to lift up on the rear of the trailer until the caster wheel touches the ground. If a Stinger trailer seems right for you, Head over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to pick up one for yourself. Feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on everything with three wheels. I'm Jen signing out until next time.